recipients today, each of you has done our world a service. In other cities and other countries, you've woven more threads into that same tapestry of connection and fellowship. Because diplomacy isn't only about the government to government relationship. It's people to people, heart to heart. With each brush, brush stroke and photograph, with each workshop and exhibition, you've added to that conversation, sewing more invisible threads tying us to one another. So I want to thank you, every diplomat working for a brighter future, every painter and sculptor helping us see the hidden colors of the beautiful world around us, for accepting the call to become something bigger than yourselves. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about, right? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for using your talents to make this planet a little brighter, a little better, and a little more beautiful for us all. Thank you. Wong. If you find yourself in front of one of Su Ling Wong's phenomenal abstract paintings, you might feel like the earth beneath you has shifted. So dynamic is her swooping brushwork. Her artwork brings together Eastern and Western histories and aesthetics that have shaped her life. It's all there. Her upbringing in Taiwan, calligraphy, traditional Chinese landscapes, her education in London, her love of romantic, English romantic painting. She has returned to her small rural vi village in Taiwan, yet she continues to work on the world stage. In 2018, Su Ling created a painting over seven feet high, almost 30 feet long, the Singing River Two, for the American Institute of Taiwan, Su Ling Wong. Let's give our medalists another round of applause. Thank you.